Welcome to the Skype Operations Framework Overview Session. Over the next 60 minutes, we'll be sharing an overview of the Skype Operations Framework, introduce you to the framework, tools and assets, and discuss how this framework can be applied to your organization. So thank you very much for spending some time with us. My name is Lester Hewitt. I am a Principal Customer Engineering Architect in the Customer Experience and Deployment Team. And our goal is to enhance customer and partner experiences by capturing feedback, influencing product direction, and enabling organizations of any size to get to our cloud service by providing best-in-class readiness and deployment services. And part of that is the creation of the Skype Operations Framework. So I want to start the session with a couple of information about the training itself. Um, so the Skype Operations Framework is a living, breathing uh, framework, as we've said, um, through some of our ex existing materials. And this is um, version two of the recorded training, recorded in September 2016, and will incorporate the cloud migration release that we uh, released in September 2016. Um, there are, there's also um, an update to the um, uh, materials throughout the whole of SOF. And one of the things that we'd strongly recommend you do is to um, go to the recent trainings at skypeoperationsframework.com forward slash academy to be able to uh, review more details on the um, components of Skype Operations Framework as they are updated uh, over the next coming days. So thank you very much. So let's look at what we're going to cover off during the session today. We want to um, really set the objectives of making sure that at this training you're going to understand um, how Skype Operations Framework provides practical guidance for the key phases of plan, deliver and operate and that's benefiting both customers and partners and how it can be applied to both um, new deployments of Skype for Business Online and also migrations to Skype for Business Online. We want to make sure that you know where to download the uh, soft components from, the uh, tools and assets, access training, and very importantly, we want to make sure that you understand how to provide feedback on our materials so we can continue to enhance and extend those materials that we create. So let's have a little look at the agenda that we've put together for today. So we're going to start off with explaining why we created the Skype Operations Framework and the benefits we believe SOF will bring. And then we'll discuss some of the key changes that the shift to the cloud brings, set the scene for SOF. Then we'll move on to um, SOF customer journeys and the SOF foundations. Um, we're going to spend a bit of time on foundations just to understand and to share how we uh, created SOF and the structure of the Skype Operations Framework. And then we're going to move on and have a discussion of the investments, basically, that we've made around cloud deployment and um, cloud migrations. And then we really want to finish the session off with talking about how to access soft materials, um, have a bit of a discussion around what's maybe coming next, and then really to spend off and make sure that you're aware of, of where the site is and hopefully to start consuming some of the materials that we have created. So let's start to think a little bit around about why we created the Skype Operations Framework. So think about some of these, these questions, and these are very sort of common questions that I'd imagine that most people who are um, taking part in this training have considered or are currently considering uh, in relation to their deployment of Skype for Business Online. So what we did with the Skype Operations Framework is we wanted to provide practical guidance um, and tools and assets to help our customers answer some of these key questions. And really importantly, to drive success with Skype for Business Online as you deploy. So think about that, that sort of contextually as that area that we wanted to move forward with. Now, let's have a look at the Skype Operations Framework itself. Let's a few minutes on recapping on, of why we believe the Skype Operations Framework should be of interest to you before we start to look in a little more detail at SOF and some of the customer journeys that are enabled to run through it. So really, I suppose if I sum up SOF, it's around delivering success. It's around making sure that we define and enable the right way to deploy Skype for Business Online or migrate to Skype for Business Online every time. We're providing a great best-in-class deployment and operation methodology, really spending time on not only tools and assets, but key processes. How would you start on a deployment or a migration? Where are the starting points? Where are the checkpoints along the way? What are the materials that need to be created? We've created recommendations that really help to um, fill gaps in tools, readiness and processes. So really helping our customers and our partners to be able to um, engage and onboard with these materials. 
and make sure that this is something that is, is validated by our own engineering staff so that we're out there trying this out, working with customers and partners, getting their feedback and bringing that back into our development cycles and really helping um, our customers and partners to focus on their core competencies rather than necessarily having to create the delivery methodologies. And you know, when we've had feedback from uh, when we first launched Soft back in July, um, there were a number of um, partners who were very, found this very useful and we're going to use this structure to help build their approach to delivering Skype Business Online, which was fantastic. Another thing that's important as well with the Skype Operations Framework is around this concept of delivering, uh, uh, providing a common language across the ecosystem so that, you know, customers, partners, vendors um, can all understand where an organization may be during the life cycle and some of the activities that need to take place during that phase or stage to have a more interesting sort of diagnostic type conversation and be able to open up uh, some of those um, quality conversations. So how does SOF do all of this? Let's cover that during the rest of the session. So one of the things to start off with as a kind of a setting the scene is around this concept of shift to cloud. So effectively moving services to the cloud, moving to more of a, a greenfield um, lifecycle type approach rather than necessarily the approach that we may have had for some of our on-premises components. And I think you know, we typically look at an analogy to think about what this shift to the cloud means for us all. Um, you know, for many people a long time ago, um, you know, if you wanted to have water, people would have dug a well themselves and managed the production and delivery of the water. Now, for many of us, we have water delivered from mains pipes in the streets. So we've moved from having to be the, the kind of the producers of that content and component to actually now um, taking that service from effectively the cloud. So now that we're on mains water, you know, we need pipes and taps in our house to be able to consume water at the pressure fed to the house. Those pipes need planning, delivering and operating to enable you to enjoy cool, clean water each time you turn the tap. So you no longer have to have your own well, get the benefit, you get benefits of all the improvements the water company brings. So the shift to the cloud means that you no longer have, need to manage Skype for Business on-premises servers, and you get the benefits of the evergreen Skype for Business online service improvements. That said, there is still a need to plan, deliver, and operate the, the customer side to consume the service in a way that delivers quality to your end users. This is what we are looking at and providing with the Skype Operations Framework. That practical guidance around planning, delivering, and operating Skype for Business Online to make sure that you are delivering success each time you use the service. So let's think a little bit about the um, shift to the cloud and a few of those other pieces that come with that. So it really is around delivering so that's accelerated innovation. You know, one of the things that uh, we have found is traditionally new capabilities, features, and workloads were delivered as a step change every few years. Um, Backend upgrades were required to access new capabilities and end users had to wait quite some time and then potentially had a steep change in features to learn and assimilate in a, in a short period of time for them. So customers tell us that the opportunity to drive innovation and business benefits exists when they look at their existing interactions and processes and consider how to apply new workloads capabilities to those business processes. For example, whether that's customer service, or looking at how project teams work or HR interviewing new staff, all of these processes have been inspired by applying Skype for Business capabilities and unlocking benefits. The shift to the cloud moves customers onto an evergreen platform where new workloads and capabilities are enabled in the cloud and are available faster to end users. The delivery of new workloads and features in an accelerated manner encourages customers to continue to be curious, but also requires a shift in mindset to a service orientated view where continued improvement is considered the new normal and is both expected and planned for. So we explored that the shift to the cloud requires rethinking how to plan, deliver and operate Skype for Business online. We have been asked for guidance, tools and assets to assist with selectively delivering Skype for Business online or migrating to Skype for Business online. And in our daily discussions, we come across two broad requests for guidance. So partners and customers who want to be able to build on their current skills and experiences, gain from designing and deploying Link and Skype for Business on premises and to leverage this to help them in their move to the cloud. And their focus is typically understanding what the move to the cloud service means to them through the lens of plan, plan deliver and operate. 
Um, we also find partners and customers who are coming to Sky for Business online, maybe for the first time. Um, maybe they're Office 365 partners who are looking to extend into Sky for Business. Um, maybe they're coming from other areas and looking at Office 365 and Sky for Business as a new business opportunity. And they're looking for guidance on where to start building their own capabilities and competencies to drive their own successful deliveries. So we, the Sky for Business product group, created SOF for both customers and partners to meet this need for guidance. Timo worked on this of many years of customer facing experience between them and are working with our customers delivering Sky for Business online on a daily basis. We field test these assets as we create them, as well as getting feedback from the field during our development cycles. So let's start to discuss what we created um, as we move into the next slide. So the Skype operations framework itself is a, a multifaceted approach to delivering customer success, which is at the heart of SOF, enabling our customers and partners to successfully establish and maintain a reliable and cost-effective universal communication service in the cloud. So the evolution of Skype for Business Online brings a shift in relationship between Microsoft partners and customers. This shift requires a multifaceted common approach and a service lifecycle mindset. So the Skype operations framework is the way to bring alignment across the customer, partner and service provider. So we derived SOF as a framework from traditional service management methodologies, but it's really built to focus specifically on Skype for Business in the cloud. And this defines that Skype for Business customer lifecycle, helping partners and enterprises plan, deliver and operate reliable and cost-effective Skype for Business service in the cloud. So the four main components of this really are around the framework itself, to the standardized approach with tool processes and recommended practices for successfully planning, delivering and operating, Skype for Business in the cloud, the common understanding. It also has the readiness factor related to Skype Academy, Skype Academy is the aim to basically uh, educate uh, customers, partners, services on Skype, both Skype for Business product and also best practices that are contained within SOF. We have the customer facing aspects of this and also SOF trained partners who are ready and waiting to help customers with the delivery of Skype for Business Online using the Skype operations framework to guide that delivery. So this truly is a, a multifaceted approach where you know, we are um, making sure that there is an ecosystem ready to uh, work with Skype Operations Framework and to be able to really drive that customer success and deliver that reliable and cost-effective Skype business service. So let's have a little look in a bit more detail about what we provide within the Skype Operations Framework itself. So if we look at the framework aspect of this, it's really around um, providing that practical guidance, covering plan, deliver, and operate for Skype for Business Online. So we leverage traditional service management methodologies, but we tune the approach to reflect the shift to the cloud, where the focus moves from servers to service and from deployment to delivery. As we move to the cloud, the customer partner activity is focused on the end users and supporting customer systems networks rather than the servers. Looking at the soft framework graphic, you will see plan, deliver, operate as the overarching phases, which are divided into stages, which a prescriptive framework follows. These phases are designed to be approached with the lifecycle mindset. As new innovation is released in the service, customers and partners will move through plan, deliver, operate, and gain the benefits of applying the new capabilities to their businesses. One of the key outcomes we want to drive with SOF is to build a shared understanding of how to deliver Skype for Business Online, so that customers and partners can have a very rich and successful dialogue from a common shared understanding of what is needed to move forward and drive success. We will explore how to introduce the language on the next slide. So, We'll talk about the foundations of the Skype operations framework. And we, we built this for the idea. So the phases really are the kind of the, the connection point to plan, deliver, and operate. And the phases and the stages together create a common language of the Skype operations framework. And you will see them reflected in the wheel of soft throughout our sites, documents, tools, and assets, helping you to understand where you are through the journey at any point in time. So to create that common language, we wanted to ensure that we grounded SOF with the key phases of plan, deliver, and operate. Everything we've created is based on driving any delivery through these key three phases. 
Now remember, we talked earlier on about the sort of shift from service to service and from kind of deployment to delivery. This is very much around this delivery of the service aspect. So in order to define the common language further, we break down the key phases into more focused components, which we call stages. For instance, in the plan phase, we have four key stages of envision, assess, design and prepare. More about these later in this session. Our intention is that at any point, a project team knows where they are in the scope of business online lifecycle and knows what the expected activities, outputs and benefits are for that stage. To build the practical guidance and recommended practices, we defined a set of activities that we recommend take place per stage. So a set of activities that would take place within Envision, Assess, Design and Prepare, for example. To deliver the activities, we created a number of tools and assets to be used in the execution of that activity. These tools and assets are freely downloadable today for you to use and incorporate SOF into your projects. The end goal of SOF is to provide practical guidance to enable operational excellence and help our customers and partners plan, deliver and operate the reliable and cost effective scope of business service in the cloud. To achieve this, we consider customer outcomes and align the stages and activities we recommend need to take place into a grouping. We launch these groupings on a regular basis and more of that later. So let's think a little bit now and change focus and think about the customer journeys. We, we spent some time talking about the, the structural aspect of the Skype operations framework from the point of view of our phases and stages and activities and tools and assets. But the way that we group these together and the way that we, we see um, customers and partners using these assets is in enabling customer journeys. I want to take a bit of a moment to just talk around what those customer journeys are and then talk a little bit more detail about the kind of underlying structure of the Skype operations framework. So when we initially released uh, SOF in the summer of 2016, um, the investments we released were the get deployed set of assets. And really what they were aiming to do was to provide that practical guidance to help customers who wanted to move to Skype Business Online, maybe from a greenfield environment, or maybe they had Skype for Business Online already deployed and were looking to add additional uh, real time workloads. So our, our Get Deployed investment provides that practical guidance on planning, delivering and operating Skype for Business Online with a focus on cloud PBX, both PSDN calling and on-premises PSDN connectivity and PSDN conferencing functionality. But aim very much at those people who are, you know, their, their target is a, a kind of a, a pure online environment. As part of the uh, work that we've been up to over the last couple of months and the, the we have basically released this cloud migration um, investment, which is released in autumn. And this is really much building on top of the assets and work we delivered for Get Deployed and really then focused on those um, organizations that have a current on-premises or hybrid Link 2013 or Skype for Business deployment. And really helping them with the practical guidance, again, based around the three main phases of plan, deliver and operate to move to Skype for Business Online. As part of that, we, we realized that the, you know, that means setting up and operating that hybrid space to make sure that you have the smooth transition um, into Skype for Business Online. So these really are the, are the two main customer journeys that uh, we are enabling at this point in time. So the, the Greenfield Skype for Business Online via Get Deployed and the on-premises hybrid starting point via cloud migration. And we'll dig into these in a bit more detail um, as we go through this session today. So keeping in mind that the two customer journeys of, of Get Deployed and Cloud Migration, let's think a little bit about how the materials are organized within the Skype Operations Framework. So that makes it easier when you're navigating through the materials to understand how they relate and, and where to basically go for additional guidance. So when we start to think about Skype Operations um, uh, Framework, we start with thinking of the life cycle phases. As we said, these are based on the traditional approach of plan, deal, and operate, but we have updated these to cater for the cloud. So from a plan perspective, the key things that we take place within plan is around really um, defining um, the, the gathering information and insights to assess, design, and prepare for Skype for Business online service. So we are going to define expected business value, assess readiness for implementation, and undertake a number of remediation activities. So if we transition from planning to deliver, this is around transitioning from deploying on-premises to actually delivering high quality cloud services. Effectively implementing and delivering Skype for Business Online services while driving adoption. Potentially identifying areas for improvement by implementing new features and capabilities as they are released to really deliver rapid success and additional value. 
And a key phase of the Skype operations framework is operate. It's really around the sort of um, activities that need to take place to maintain a high quality and reliable Skype for Business online service, providing more monitoring, reporting, run and support services. So really sort of, you know, making sure that, um, you know, any initial delivery that comes through plan and deliver is operated to make sure it carries on delivering that consistent great quality to operate a key area for the Skype operational framework. So let's spend a little time thinking a little bit more about the, um, the stages themselves and what, what do we have inside here? So as we said, what we've done is we have created these soft stages and they're defined really to be able to group together activities, activities supported by tools and assets that provide the practical guidance. So Deploying this consistent approach and common language when talking about and executing a Skype for Business online project is important. It helps all parties understand what is involved to successfully deliver Skype for Business online. It also opens up a number of exciting new possibilities to enable smoother handoffs and partnerships. We can also use this language for a diagnostic conversation for in-flight projects, identifying where the project is in the life cycle and then cross-checking activities and deliverables currently created against SOF and then align to the framework going forward. So we're gonna spend a little bit more time talking about what, um, what is inside plan, deliver and operate by looking at this from the lens of the stages. So let's start with plan and what happens within the plan area. So there are four soft stages within plan, which are envision, assess, design and prepare. So the vision stage covers setting the environment engagement up for success. It's a very key stage when we start to engage with our Skype Business Online deployments or migrations. It ensures that the project team and the sponsor stakeholders are aligned on expectations, scope and timelines. And in this stage, we provide workshops and discovery assets to help with those um, activities. We then move on to the assess stage, which is about assessing readiness. A key activity here is the network readiness assessment, which works out required bandwidth will be for deployment and having a set of key discussions related to media optimization and also effectively some level of um, assessment of the current network capabilities. Other things that are important within the assess stage would be around looking at the current baseline health of an on existing on-premises deployment to make a decision as whether that's ready for enabling hybrid or not. The design stage covers the design of the service, what configuration is going to be applied, how we uh, would create coexistence for the hybrid environment, um, what considerations need to take place for client migrations, how PSDN connectivity will be achieved, designing the adoption strategy, and also starting to do some planning around, um, you know, the kind of service mapping and the service maintenance aspects that we will cover when we get to operate. Prepare stage covers undertaking the actions outlined in assess and design stages that need to be undertaken before you exit plan. So moving into the next um, area, which is deliver, we'll have a quick look at the four key stages in the deliver phase. So deploy stage is around covering instantiation and testing of the configuration agreed and documented in plan. Enable stage covers enabling users for the service, initially a limited number for pilot and then scale via a scripted approach. The adopt stage covers bringing together of enabled user accounts with real people and drive all actual long-term habitual use of the technology. And the enhanced stage could be executed at any time and really covers investigating new capabilities and workloads that have not yet been deployed and working out where additional business benefits could be delivered. This may trigger a smaller plan cycle as we go through. Now, key thing around this and needs to be in place as soon as the first user is enabled is around operate. Uh, anybody seeing a pattern here of the four stages per phase? So operate is, is a key phase in the Skype operations framework. So Microsoft undertakes the heavy lifting of operating the Skype for Business online service in our data centers. But as we discussed earlier in the session, there are still some activities that need to take place customer side. Customers and partners can undertake these operate activities either on their own or via partnership. One key point to remember, the planning and readiness for the operate stage starts in assess design. So when a site is rolled out, the operate stage activities are in place, ready to land that site. So if we think about the actual stages themselves, so the run stage covers the daily, weekly, monthly tasks that need to take place. It can be carried out by the customer or partner, such as using the portal to confirm use of the service, um, basically dealing with patching of current systems. 
Support stage really covers providing troubleshooting guidance and planning for supporting the customer side components. Monitor stage covers monitoring core quality, end user experience and flagging whether additional diagnostics are required. And the report stage covers really creating reports and understanding how the service is being used by the end users. So when we think about the uh, materials that are provided, we think about the activities that we just described from the point of view of um, the soft phases and stages. And then with the activities, we have a number of different asset types. So the actual practical information we provide, we have a description that explains what is this activity. So if you're going to undertake, in, undertake envisioning, for example, there'll be a description of what is envisioning intended to achieve, um, who are the key players that take part in envisioning, what roles do they play, we will have delivery guidance explaining how to go away and execute um, a number of these assets. This training taking part as one of the parts of delivery guidance. Typically, if you think there'll be workshops, questionnaires, reports, tool scripts, testing information, checklists, project plans, templates. So this is really giving an idea of the kind of rich um, set of assets that we provide as part of the Skype operations framework. And, and a key area for these is that these um, assets will get used across a number of different customer journeys. So for instance, the network readiness asset will be applicable, whether this is someone doing a brand new deployment or someone who is migrating from an on-premises deployment. Some of the other assets, for example, coexistence assets are more related to the migration and the cloud migration type approach. So when we start to think about SOF, one of the great things to look at is um, on our site, which we'll talk about in a minute, is when we look at get started, We've really sort of streamlined a lot of this so that when you click on get started, you can make a decision on which customer journey you're currently working on. And then you'll start to engage directly with the um, sort of workflow and processes and estimates that really walk you through the order that we recommend using these assets in. Obviously, it's quite possible for people who want to look at the assets they can do on a kind of free browse perspective. That's also there for those people that just want to look at individual assets and dig into those a bit more detail. So just give you an example of how some of this stuff comes together. Um, here's an example of the network readiness asset. Um, and one example of this is where you can see that we have um, some persona information, some workshops. We have some guidance on how to deliver. We have some more technical information around discovery. And as an example of the living framework, we've updated this activity to include some additional network assessment tools um, as part of the cloud migration release. So those people that have, um, you know, for the first time looking at this, great thing to go and have a look at the network assessment components, crack those open and understand how those can help you with your um, readiness for Skype for Business Online. So as I said um, before, one of the things that we've done is we've taken these um, assets and materials and effectively what we are doing is we are bundling them together to really drive um, an outcome. And the outcome is really assigned to your initiatives and your journeys. So as we said, the kind of two main journeys that we have are the um, customers moving from Greenfield or existing Skype for Business online deployments, or those people that are moving from existing on-premises deployments. And really by bringing those together, we are driving success and driving that um, customer um, outcomes which are being looked at by our customers. So if we think about the, let's do a little bit about the releases of, of SOF and the materials that we provide. So as you said, the, the initial release of SOF was released in the summer and that was the get deployed um, components. And what get deployed is really about doing is providing that practical guidance on planning, delivering and operating uh, Skype Business Online. For those organizations that their start journey is starting with either a greenfield, uh, so no Skype for Business at all, or maybe they have Skype for Business Online deployed just for instant messaging and presence and want to add additional workloads. As you can see from the, the sort of we provide a kind of week by week breakdown um, across a sort of typical nine or, or 12 week period of how we expect um, and recommend the activities to take place. So we give you the order to run workshops in. We, we tell you how long we think a workshop's gonna take. We would basically also explain to you um, effectively um, who needs to take part in those workshops. And so if we look at the, the assets that make up the Get Deployed offer, there are around about 60 assets that we shipped initially, really taking you through the kind of the outcome pieces, the planning aspects of this, the delivery aspects and the operate aspects. So we have our assets laid out um, following plan, deliver and operate. 
But the thing that we that holds it together, really ties it together, is the sort of the, the description of Get Deployed that includes the timeline, that includes a kind of end-to-end -end, uh, walk through the assets and the components to be used. So it really is a, a great starting point if you are going to go to our site, and I'll explain how to get there in a minute. If you click on Get Started and start on looking at Get Deployed, it gives you that initial view of where to start consuming some of these soft assets and activities. So we, the release that we released in September of 2016 uh, was to uh, add the additional journey of cloud migration. As you can see, it's a slightly different workflow. Um, a few more additional components were added to this, into this workflow, to take into account that when we think about cloud migration, then we have to consider the existing on-premises Link 2013 or Skype for Business platform. So we added in activities and assets that really help to evaluate their readiness for hybrid and their health, and also looking at assets that basically help to understand how to prioritize and how to optimize the migration schedule for migrating users from on-premises to online. And as you see here, we have another set of uh, cloud migration assets where effectively this is showing us really the kind of end-to-end -end set of assets that would be leveraged during cloud migration. So it builds on the assets we created for Get Deployed, adds additional net new assets, and also adds updates to the existing assets to basically um, help you through that cloud migration component. Now, one of the great things around this is that this, this session really is the kind of overview session, giving you an idea of, of the fact that we have these two journeys that get deployed in cloud migration. And we would really request and recommend that you come to Skype Academy, and I'll give you the link for that in a minute, where there is more in-depth in training on every single one of our activities and assets to really help you get up to speed with being able to leverage these assets during your own projects and deployments. So I wanted to, to spend the next kind of few minutes talking a little bit around um, the changes that we have made to uh, the site itself and hopefully helping people to start engaging with the Skype operations framework um, and make that simpler um, for them to engage. So one of the things that we have, um, we have on our site is we have soft quick start. So we've worked in the initial experience of SOF and we've added Quick Start, which you can launch directly from our homepage, which is www.skypeoperationsframework.com. And Quick Start is designed to take you directly to the most relevant information to support your journey. You're asked some initial diagnostic questions and then we recommend how to start engaging with SOF. So it's, it's a great thing and definitely say that, you know, as, as a first time you've come to look at the Skype Operations Framework, then click the Quick Start button answer a couple of questions and basically we will take you directly to where we think is the right getting started page, whether that is going to be um, giving you the opportunity to look at the assets and the workflow. Maybe you want to look at the downloads, maybe the training is where you want to start, or maybe the blogs is something that you could be interested in. So it's helping you to really take a more streamlined and focused approach to engaging with our Skype operation framework materials. And we really recommend that that's a good, great place to start. It's on the homepage, quick start button, and it'll take you through a couple of simple diagnostic questions, as we said, to really target some of the soft materials for you. So in addition to a quick start, we also have the Skype Academy. Now Skype Academy is the place to come for readiness on both Skype Operations Framework and Skype for Business product training. So the training available at this site is for both customers and partners and has multiple options to consume content, both via interactive sessions uh, such as this or via Skype meeting broadcasts or recorded content. So at this point, over a thousand people and 400 organizations have undertaken soft training. So it's an exciting place. So there are somewhere like 17 sessions from our Get Deployed environment. We have another 11 new um, sessions starting October the 3rd for cloud migration. So if um, it's a great place to go to Skype Academy. So please go to that. You can also find some trade product training, including things like Cloud Connector. So you can visit the Soft Academy page, which is skypeoperationsframework.com forward slash academy to either register for upcoming training courses or to consume training courses that have already been delivered. So it's a great place to go to really get to that overall readiness aspect. So one of the other facets that can be accessed via uh, Skype Academy is the soft assessment. So the soft assessment you can take directly from our site and it's really there allowing you to test your understanding of SOF and to gain the Skype Operations Framework Ready Classification. Um, so it's something that we recommend that people take and go through to really sort of show their knowledge of the Skype operations framework 
um, and uh, to access this. So it's um, something you can take directly from our site, skyperoperationsframework.com forward slash assessment. So uh, another area that we is that can be accessed from our Skype Operations Framework site is around our Skype um, soft partners. So organizations that have basically managed services based on the Skype Operations Framework, um, or basically also ready to assist customers with planning, delivering and operating migration. So these, uh, you know, there's hundreds of organizations of training, training have undertaken training. And here's some examples of uh, some of our key partners who are working in this space, who are have soft offers um, or aligned offers based on the Skype operations framework to help you with um, the planning, delivering and operating of the Skype business online. So as you said, the URL for that is skypeoperationsframework.com forward slash partners. In addition to our, our partners community, another area that we would uh, invite you to come and join in the conversation is with the soft community. So soft community really is um, the idea behind this is to um, encourage you to come and share your experiences with your peers and with the soft team, basically to get an idea of, of how did it go deploying and using soft on your own projects. Um, you know, learn what other people are doing with soft and how they're applying it, share tips and tricks and really contribute to that soft community. So we, we'd love you to come and visit us on the soft community to start your engagement. And another link to that is aka.ms forward slash soft community, or you can access it from our website. So um, come to soft community, sign up, start taking part in the conversations. And really it's an opportunity to kind of learn and share your experiences of deploying soft on your projects. So hopefully we've, we've given you a good uh, understanding of uh, a number of the materials that are available to Skype Operations Framework. And what I'd love you to do is to basically just to give you an idea of where to go next to try and consume these components. So if we were, if you were to navigate to skypeoperationsframework.com, which hopefully many of you are doing now, you can see that we have got the nice overview piece. We've got the get started button in blue on the right hand side. And here you're able to um, consume our, our customer journey components. You can download the assets and tools. You can take part in training. You can review the soft partners. We'll talk about feedback in a moment, but from here you can access the community uh, blogs and we have the ability then to also download all of our material. Um, so again, this site really is, is there for um, you know, our customers and partners who are looking to engage with the Skype operations framework. So it's not only contains the assets and tools, but also is the link to the community, the link to academy, link to training. And it's a great place to come as a kind of one stop resource to gain um, exposure and experience of Skype operations material. So, you know, what I suggest is that a um, you know, great place to start is start at skypeoperationsframework.com. Click on the uh, quick start button, basically answer a couple of questions and it will take you through to the customer journey that we believe is most relevant based on how you answer the questions and really giving you that targeted approach to how to start consuming SOF. Um, if you also there's, there's the kind of self guide, you can click on get started. And from there, you will see our soft assets laid out within the structures of plan, deliver and operate, as we talked about during this session, to act as more of a kind of browsing type approach for those um, you know, people who want to spend a bit of time browsing through the assets and, and getting their own opinion of how they run. But the get started um, menu item really is a great place to start from here. That will help you talk a little bit more about the customer journeys, help make a decision about which customer journey might be right for you, and then really takes you to that uh, walkthrough of how we believe um, these assets should be applied to that customer journey. And starting off with our, our description for get deployed and cloud migration, that really helps you to dig into the Skype Operation Frameworks materials. And as I said, along the way, you know, all of our uh, assets and activities have associated training, and those trainings are available on the Skype Academy, which can also be accessed from skypeoperationsframework.com. So what do we expect going forwards? So when we look at the, the going forwards with this, you know, one of the key tenants of the future of the Skype operations framework is that we very much are, um, you know, we build this on an agile develop methodology and we focus on incremental releases. So we're continuously um, adding updates and also with major um, updates that we've just seen with the cloud migration release. So software is also driven by the Skype business product roadmap. So we're working on making sure that as new features and capabilities are released, 
that partners and customers are prepared to land them with the highest quality by making sure that we have that associated Skype operations framework practical guidance. So this is this is really you know another thing that's very important for us is is around feedback. So um, we'll talk about feedback in a second, but you know we really encourage feedback on our assets. Um, we want to hear how people are using them. We want to hear what works, um, potentially what people think is missing, and with that we incorporate into our development cycles as we release our our incremental updates to assets and also our, our major releases that we do um, on sort of uh, as we go through. So kind of things that we kind of uh, sort of you know, think about for the future releases, stuff that you'll start to see from us is, you know, more operate type materials, materials around get healthy. How can basically we help organizations that maybe have deployed a while ago and are now want to see how they can um, align better with SCAP operations framework and improve the quality of their deployments. But we'll see potentially future releases around room systems. Uh, and you know new capabilities, capabilities that come out so effectively you know, we the, the framework and the updates to the framework are really driven by a number of things they're driven by updates to the product they're driven by feedback and basically they're up to, driven by the customer journeys that we want to enable so you will see um, continued updates from us um, as i said we started with the get deployed um, investment in the summer um, the cloud migration release was released in, in autumn and uh, we will continue, we'll announce the new um, updates and, and new capabilities um, over the coming weeks and months. Um, so to learn more, we said the, there's virtual training available at skypeoperationsframework.com and we really recommend that you go there to look at the materials and skypeoperationsframework.com really is the single place to come to get um, acquainted with and to assess and access the SCOF Skype operations framework materials and also to discover um, soft train partners that could help you and also to access training and assessments and community. So it's a great place to come. So one of the last things that we will talk about in this session is around how to provide feedback. Uh, feedback is, is very important to us, as I was mentioning earlier on. It really is. It drives us and, and um, we use it as part of our planning. And it's very important and very key to ask for you to provide feedback to us. So skypeoperationsframework.com forward slash feedback is the key URL. We'd love to hear with you about kind of what works and maybe what doesn't. Um, you know, if there's anything that's, that's missing or anything that, that's incorrect or, you know, any other feedback that you'd like to provide to us, um, please use the feedback page to provide that feedback. So from a direction perspective, um, we want to try and sort of keep the community more for um, sharing experiences with people who are delivering the Skype operations framework, you know, what worked um, from that perspective. And for feedback, basically, it's more around sort of the structural components we'd like to hear from you on. So what works and what doesn't, anything that's incorrect, what's missing, other feedback, so that we can basically take that and we build that into our um, development cycles for the next iterations of the Skype operations framework. So in the last couple of slides, um, just wanted to kind of I suppose, finish with a, with a couple of conversations around the SCAP operations framework itself. So hopefully over this session, what you will have learned is that this is really around um, making sure that as we contemplate the shift to the cloud, it's around providing that practical guidance that defines and enables the kind of right way to deploy or migrate every time. For me, if I was to sum up the SCAP operations framework, I'd say it's around delivering success. It's around making sure that um, as our organizations deploy SCAF Business Online, they have taken the right consideration, they've done the right things in planning, delivering and operating to make sure they get that quality, reliable, long-term, um, superb service out of SCAF Business Online. So as I said, it's really helping there with their standardized guidance, it's really helping people to focus on the things that make them unique rather than common core methodology, because we provide the core methodology in the Skype operations framework, we provide the idea of, of, you know, where do you start? Where do you finish? What do you do along the way? Which assets to use when? Which activities to use when? Who needs to be involved? How long do they take? All of that is um, created and packaged up within the Skype operations framework. So really, it's a case of um, we'd love you to start working with this, start getting familiar with it. Visit skypeoperationsframework.com for slash academy to take undertake the other training that's there to really get an in-depth view of the assets and how these things are used and put together. And just as a quick recap at the end of this, just as the uh, resources that will be used. So remember, this is around 
and that practical guidance covering plan, deliver and operate benefits both customers and partners. We'd love you to go to skypeoperationsframework.com to download our office tools and assets. Remember the feedback link and the academy link um, for training. So hopefully this has been a useful session for you all. I thank you very much for taking the time to uh, spend listening to this recording. And we are very much looking forward to your feedback and your discussions on the community to really understand how you're using the Skype Operations Framework components and to understand the success that you are gaining in your own projects and deliveries. So with that, my name is Lester Hewitt. I'd like to say thank you very much. Thank you for your time and listening.